Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's Esther here once again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Please, I would like you to subscribe to my channel and also turn on your notification bell so that whenever I post a video, you'll be notified. So, <laughs> I'm finally setting up my Christmas tree today. <laughs> I know you are wondering, why so late? Why are you just doing it? I purposely left it till today. I have a toddler and I know that if I set it up earlier than now, he's going to scatter it or push it down or try to take out all the decorations on it. So that's why I left it till today. So here's the Christmas tree. This is the snow effect Christmas tree. I got it from Kmart. Six feet snow pine Christmas tree. I got this from Kmart and I also have the tree topper here. Oops, that's already see it's already falling out okay and i have the ornaments the balls to decorate it to be honest i don't know if this will be enough but i'm just going to make do with it because i obviously can't go back to the shop to buy another one so we're going to make use of that and i also have this to wrap the gifts the christmas present so let's get to work let's start decorating Christmas tree is ready. <laughs> so guys, I'm done decorating the Christmas tree. Like, I'm done for now. What do you guys think about my Christmas tree? Let me tell you. This is the best, the most beautiful Christmas tree you will ever see, okay? <laughs> so while I was decorating, keep in mind that this is my first time, my very first time of decorating a Christmas tree, okay? So even while I was shopping, I wasn't sure of what to get. I wasn't sure of the type of Christmas tree to buy. I wasn't sure of the decorating items to buy. So I just decided to buy only the tree and the balls. It's now that I'm just realizing 
other things I should have gotten while I was at the shop. But unfortunately, most of those things are sold out now. So one thing I think I should have gotten was a tree skirt. So when I was doing Christmas shopping, I saw the tree skirt, but I wasn't sure what, what it's used for, okay? So it's now that I know that the tree skirt is used to cover the tree stand. But I didn't know. I didn't know before, but now I know. Also, I should have gotten maybe some ribbons to cover up these empty spaces. I should have also gotten more of the ornaments, more of the balls, because the tree looks a bit scanty. So this tree topper is supposed to go here, supposed to be here. But it kept bringing this thing down whenever I put it here. It kept pushing it down like this. So I don't know. I've just put it there. See guys, this is the best I can do for now. And as for the gifts, I'm not done wrapping the gifts. Samuel is currently sleeping, so I need to quickly go fix lunch before he wakes up. So later on, I'll continue wrapping the gift. I've only wrapped two gift items. So I'm stopping here for now, and we're going to continue later. Let me know what you think about my Christmas tree, okay? I know, I know it's not perfect, <laughs> but hey, it's perfect for me. I think I did a great job as a first timer. So that's my Christmas tree. I'm not done wrapping the gifts. I just want to quickly make lunch because Samuel is sleeping now. So I'll come back later on to wrap up the remaining gifts. Honestly, I don't know who sent me to buy this snow Christmas tree because look, look at the whole floor. The whole floor is filled with the white things from the tree. Now this has given me job to vacuum this house today. I'll do that later today, Sha. So that's my tree. What do you guys think about it? So I'll stop here for now and I'll go and make lunch. I'll catch you guys later. So I'm just about to make uh, pasta and meatballs, which is Samuel's favorite food. Samuel is currently sleeping, so I have to get this ready before he wakes up so that he can have it as lunch. So I'm just adding some vegetable oil to the clean pot. I'll probably do a full video of this recipe later on, but for now, I just want to do it as fast as I can before Samuel wakes up. So this is the meatballs I'll be using. I got it from Aldi. Samuel really loves meatballs. In fact, sometimes when you give him pasta, he'll end up eating all the meatballs and leaving the pasta. So when the oil heats up, I just add the meatballs so that it can fry. It doesn't take long to cook, but it says on the pack it's, it cooks in 8 minutes. So I just like to fry it for some time, bring it out, and then continue the rest of the cooking. So I'm just going to let that fry for 8 minutes until it is properly cooked. So the meatballs have been frying for a while and now I'm just bringing them out. So this is onion, pepper and tomato mix. I also added a bit of fresh parsley so that's the green thing you are seeing. So this has been frying for a while now, so I'm just going to add the meat balls. I also added some salt, some seasoning leaves, curry powder, some rosemary. Oh, this is actually um, this is actually oregano. I don't know why it's in the rosemary. And some thyme. I'm just going to cover that and turn off the heat. 
so here i'm just going to cook the pasta in a clay pot i'm adding some water i also added some salt to the water i also like to add a little bit of vegetable oil this helps to prevent the pasta from sticking together i'm going to cover that and allow it to boil water is boiling now and it's time for me to add the pasta Drink the pasta and now it's time to add it to the sauce. Mix everything together. I actually had to reduce the the sauce because I realized it was too much for just one packet of pasta. So just going to add some carrots. Added some green, red, and yellow bell peppers. Also a little bit of spring onion. Now I'm just going to mix everything properly and there you have it our pasta and meat rolls is ready that's our pasta and meat rolls looks very good and definitely tastes so yummy so guys i'm about to clean my microwave and i just wanted to show you guys how i normally clean my microwave so you need some vinegar white vinegar you need some dishwashing soap you need some lemon or is it lime oh lemon sorry and you also need some essential oil so i'm using the lavender essential oil you cut up the lemon into slices you don't need to use everything just three of that is enough you also need some water so just add it into the water add three drops of essential oil that's more than three drops anyway <laughs> just add some essential oil add some vinegar just in case you are wondering what the measurement is i don't know i'm not sure i just add little quantity of everything and then just add some dish soap and that's it essential oil helps to freshen up the smell of the microwave you know how microwave tends to smell bad over time because i mean that's where you warm your food and sometimes there are spills of food inside the microwave so that's what the essential oil does it helps to freshen it up and give it a nice smell while the vinegar the lemon and the washing soap helps to dissolve the dirt and all the food particles in the microwave so after mixing this i'm going to put it in the microwave and microwave it for three minutes i'm just going to put that in the microwave and microwave it for three minutes okay three minutes is gone i'm going to bring it out it's very hot so be careful with it mm. smells so nice already so next i'm going to turn off the microwave turn it off yeah and then bring out this one mm. This smells, hmm, smells so nice already. So I normally let this to cool down because I'm going to use the liquid to wash the microwave plate. So I'm just going to let it cool down. And while I'm waiting for it to cool down, I'll go ahead and clean up the microwave itself. So to clean the microwave, I'm using this. This thing is almost finished. I need to buy another one. But um, yeah, I'm using this... Um, surface cleaner this is what i normally use to clean my kitchen tops my kitchen countertop so i just spray it on the on the microfiber cloth and then wipe down So now that this thing has cooled down, I'm going to use it to wash the microwave plate and I'm also going to use it to clean the inside of the microwave. Remember, I haven't cleaned the inside yet. I only cleaned the, the door. So 
I'm just going to use the same liquid to clean the inside of the microwave. This helps to freshen the microwave and it eliminates all that um, bad odor that tends to come out from your microwave. Remember to turn off your microwave because you don't want to do this while the microwave is on. Otherwise, it's going to shock you. <laughs> I'm just going to rinse it out. So after that, the next thing I do is to use paper towel to dry the inside so that it's completely dry before I turn it on. I'm just going to dry it out. To make sure that the microwave is completely dry so after drying the inside of the microwave now it's time to put back the plate i'm also going to dry this with tissue with paper towel sorry i wanna wish you a merry christmas i wanna wish you a merry christmas so that is dry i'm going to put it inside and of course we're going to dry this one as well this hmm, smells so good i feel like i feel like sleeping inside the microwave <laughs> i feel like sleeping inside there now so this is where we warm our food every now and then so it's very important to keep it clean and fresh all the time okay please let me know in the comment section have you tried this hack before how do you normally clean your microwave do you pour water inside and start scrubbing <laughs> If you haven't tried this uh, method of cleaning microwave, I think you should really try it because it's easier. It makes your microwave the smells so fresh. Please let me know in the comment section what do you think about this method. Will you be trying it? Please drop a comment in the comment section, okay?